Hello and welcome to Droix. In this video we will be unboxing and demonstrating the Minis Forum Desk Mini UM250 AMD Ryzen Mini PC. Let's get on with the unboxing. Starting off we have a user guide which is in English, German and Chinese. Up next is the Desk Mini UM250 which I will show in more detail shortly. Under the packaging there are two video cables. One is HDMI 2.0 and the other is a DisplayPort cable. Followed up by the power supply. We will include the correct adapter for your country. And we finish off with a visa mount and screws. You can attach the desk mini to the back of your monitor to save space on your desk. On the front of the mini computer are a USB Type-C port, a USB 3.1 Gen 1 port and a USB 3.1 Gen 2 USB port. Next to these are the 3.5mm headphone port and power button. The case is 5.3 by 5 by 1.8 inches in size, making it ideal for limited spaces and it is very portable, weighing just 500 grams. On the back are two USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports. There is a HDMI and display port for use with dual monitor setups, or you can go triple monitor with the USB Type-C port. There are two gigabit Ethernet ports for fast data transfer, and last but not least, the power supply socket. For wireless connectivity, there is a fast dual band Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1. Upgrading the UM250 is very easy. Simply push down on the two indicated areas to release the mechanism and the lid can be removed. From here, you can upgrade the M.2 storage as well as the RAM. The lid also functions as a 2.5 inch SATA R drive or SSD bay. From here, you can fit it to the lid and connect it to the SATA cable located inside the device. We have step by step guides on how to perform these upgrades on our website. The UM250 has an AMD Ryzen 5 Pro 2500U processor, which has 4 cores and 8 threads. Its base frequency is 2.6 GHz with a turbo frequency of 3.6 GHz. It uses the AMD Radeon Vega 8 graphics processor running at 1100 MHz, supporting up to 3 displays and DirectX 12. There's 16 gig of LPDDR4 RAM, and there's three choices for the storage: 256, 512, or a 1TB M.2 SSD. The mini PC comes pre-installed with Windows 10 Professional and a fully activated Windows license. This will give you all the latest updates to download and install. As you would expect, day-to-day -day tasks such as web browsing are fast and smooth. You have full access to the Microsoft Store for installing and updating your software. To see the performance of this powerful mini computer, there are some benchmarks we can utilise which covers the most important aspects including processors, disk speed and data transfer. The video has been sped up in places to save time as the test can take several minutes to complete. We will be comparing these benchmark scores with the other mini forums devices in a separate video. Starting with PC Mark, it benchmarks general tasks such as word processing, documents and spreadsheets, uh, video conferencing, graphics rendering and multimedia. The end score of 3625 is about right for a mini PC of this specification. 3D Mark tests the performance of the CPU and graphics processor. It is worth noting that graphics are not just for gaming, they are used for video decoding and encoding, graphics editing and right down to web browser page rendering. 
The final score of 927 is about right for the specifications on default settings. Cinebench tests the performance of the CPU only. In this benchmark, we are testing multi-core performance. The end results are very good, putting it in the area of lower specification Intel Core i7 processors. This benchmark tests the performance of the NGFF M2 SSD. The average write speed is a respectable 447 megs a second, with the read speed averaging IR at around 548 megs a second. The Wi Fi internet speed test maxed out our internet connection of 300 megs. The mini PC is located on the other side of the room to the access point. The results are as expected with download and upload speeds of around 315 and 318 megs a second, respectively. Copying over Ethernet from a NAS easily maxed out the 100 megs a second speed of ours. If you have a gigabit NAS, then you shouldn't have any problem reaching those speeds. Streets of Rage 4 has a built-in performance display, which we can test with the graphics on Ultra at 1080p. After playing the game for several minutes, we saw that the frames per second mostly hover around the 57 to 60 frames a second and occasionally dipping down to 30 frames just to smooth things out. Overall, the UM250 is a very competitive mini PC compared to its i specification Minis Forums DMA F5 and the UM700 models. Although not as high performing as those two, the UM250 has great performance for day-to-day -day tasks such as web browsing, office tasks, multimedia and gaming. As the lowest costing mini forums model, the UM250 represents great value for money. That wraps up this unboxing and demo video for the UM250 mini PC. We hope you have found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. We will have a comparison video for all three models in a future video. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.